Hey guys, it's April with Crafting with April. I wanted to show you guys how to do a knockout with images. Um, a few of you have been doing quite a few knockouts and some of you are asking how they do those. Um, I am going to be using the Kimi Retro font, but you can use the Impact font from DeFont. I believe it's free. I think the Kimi uh, font that I'm going to use I got from font bundles, I want to say. Um, but you can search and you can find any chunky font that you like will work. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my text and I'm just going to do Florida. Okay, and that comes in as the Cricut Sans font, just the normal standard font. And I'm going to come up here and let me just show you what impact looks like. I believe everybody's got impact uh, if not, I think it is a free download from DeFont. That is a good font to work with to do this. Um, and also, like I said, I want to use the Kimmy font because it's just a really cool font for doing knockouts. I really like this. It's kind of retro. I'm going to unlock it, and I am going to stretch this out. And let's see. I'm probably going to want that to be about 11 and a half inches long once it's finished it's for an adult shirt so I'm going to stretch it out to 11.72 and then I'm coming up here to my letter space because I want my letters as close as I can get them without touching and that looks pretty good to me one more click that looks good and that takes it down and then I'm just going to lock that back down and then I'm going to go in and get an image. Let's look for a, I don't know, a dolphin. And this one looks good. I'm just going to grab him. Uh, any of these will do. Um, just pick an image that you like. And I don't really need that bottom layer. Kind of like the top layer with the eye, or do I want it without the eye? I can put an eye in it. I like that one better. It's a little fatter. And I am just going to select that dolphin and stretch him out. And put him in there like I like him against that. Looks good to me. If you when you select all you don't get the slice function if you have separated your letters and had to position them you're probably going to have to weld them together in order to get the slice option so let me just do that just so you will have it I'm going to weld that and arrange move it to the back and I'm going to place my dolphin back up here like I like him and you can make it where it only goes through part of the letters I, at this point I have him touching a little bit of each and every letter and I like that so I'm going to select it and I'm going to slice then I am going to keep that layer let's undo let me redo I'm sorry went too far going to select that and I'm going to arrange and move it to the back then I'm going to select this and I'm getting rid of everything that was in between if you saw that that's everything that's behind the O and all of that. I'm getting rid of that and I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to get rid of the dolphin that's cut out. And there I have my knockout. So when I cut this and send it to the mat to make it, it's going to cut this into one color of vinyl, this into the other. When I place this on my shirt, before I cut, I'm going to mirror both of them, of course. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to make it. Then after they've cut and I've weeded them, I am going to come back. Let me just put them back to where they look. And put this piece on the shirt first. You always want to put your biggest piece on there first, especially if you're fitting something inside it. Put that on. Only put it, apply it for five to ten seconds till you can get it to adhere. You don't want to hold it down for the entire time because you're going to be reheating it when you put this piece in there. So when you once you have that one down for about five to ten seconds, peel your carrier sheet and keep it. Then you'll want to put your dolphin piece in and line him up in there. When he looks good, then you'll place him down 
and take the carrier sheet that you peeled off of this and place it over the whole design and then press it until the whole thing sticks and peel it. Um, that way you protect the other letters while you're layering. I hope that helps you guys out on knockouts and how to do them and how to get them applied to your shirt. If you have any more questions, just let me know.